Welcome Strategy Battle Gamers to another GBHA YouTube video. You're here with host GBHA of Dane, and this is my hobby vlog number 33. Um, so I'm back with another update and third week and third vlog. So as of yet, things are going okay. Um, massive thanks to everyone for um, all the comments on my last video. Um, it's really nice to um, see getting their nice words from people and uh, getting that kind of interaction um, really motivates me to keep going. So um, last week, um, you know, I unexpectedly had to do um, Fimbol and Yasnik, and here they are. I'm delighted to say they are finished. And due to the um, wonders of the GBHL YouTube uh, time machine, uh, you probably will have already seen these in a battle report, um, in the Dimral Dow battle report that was published on Saturday. And indeed, our special guest was Jamie, and he came down. And we got loads of content filmed um, to go up over the next few weeks. And uh, we needed these guys done for the Battle of Dimrald Dale. So um, I have got them done and we'll have a look at them now. So um, before I just go into too much of a close up on them, um, it's worth saying that I wasn't looking forward to painting them. I was very much doing them as a necessity. They'd sat in that box for a good um, sort of two years, two and a half years, I can't quite remember now, and weren't motivating me to paint them. And when I got them out, I know I hadn't enjoyed doing the mounted versions. They were so dark. They were, I mean, you see them on the hobby vlog last week, but they were all clearly just washed with nylon oil and they look very, very dark, and there was very little to distinguish any of the areas. And I've started um, washing more and more of Agrax Earthshade over the last couple of years, rather than just Nalnor. And, and I think um, they just look so dark that it was quite um, hard to get going. So I started with Fimble, um, and here he is. So he's completely finished, and he is distinctly all right. I think I got him done. I'm happy with how he looks, but he's nothing special, certainly. Um, it kind of came together. I can't really tell you how I painted them because because they were heroes I wasn't worried about kind of batch painting or anything like that. Um, I just I was just trying to get um, the colours that I liked done. But what I can tell you is that this was the um, palette I drew upon. Um, so I used some Elf Flesh, some uh, Doom Ball Brown, some uh, what's that? Gorthor Brown, Deathclaw Brown, Pallid Witch Flesh, Corn Red, uh, Rakarth Flesh, Eshing Grey, Zandri Dust, Steel Legion Drab, Nurgle, Baneblade Brown, Codex Grey, Crack Stone, Nurgling Green, Nagroth Knight, and Rhinox Hide. So those were the um, those were the kind of cards I used for him and Fimble, uh, sorry him and Yasnog, um, variously, and just kind of um, mixed around until I kind of found some kind of natural colours. I think part of the issue was just that he was. Um, it, the hunter orcs are all quite they're quite browny, you know, their cloaks are brownie and their bone and leather's brownie and their skin's brownie and that kind of thing. So it's kinda of hard to distinguish. I um I was quite fond of his face. I ended up painting a kind of bloodshot look into um into his kind of eye cavities and like making sure the whole area around there was kind of red and raw and painting some kind of red into the scars he's got on his face, which I think came out quite nicely and um draws a bit of attention to the face as well. But he's all right, and I was perfectly happy with him, and I got him done. I think he looks fine, but he's um, he's nothing special, really, and I didn't particularly enjoy doing him, if I'm honest. But the point is, he's done, and Fimble is my first painted model of the year. One down, 53 to go. Next up was Yaznik, who I was then really, really not looking forward to painting, because I remember not enjoying him at all last time. Um, for a model that I wasn't particularly keen on, there's an awful lot of detail in the skin. You can see the kind of various scars and stuff, and an awful lot of detail in the bone armour. But I have to say, from out of nowhere, I loved painting this guy, and I'm really, really pleased with how he turned out. So, um, if we have a look in here, just want to show you, his skin is quite hard to paint because there's all these um, scars over it. And so you have to kind of try and get some level of shading in there. So this guy, I think it's fair to say, has almost been completely repainted since last week. Like As I said, he was so dark, but like the skin ended up, I didn't want it that kind of darky brown colour, so I painted it a kind of red, so in there, I'm not sure how well it comes out, but in the shadows, a lot of it's red to give it a more natural skin tone. And I actually really, really enjoyed picking out the various scars and stuff on his face. Um, and I've really come to like this model. It's really, really lovely. And there's an awful lot of detail on it. And yeah, from out of nowhere, I really enjoyed painting him. Um, so we've got a lot of detail on the skin there. And we've got his um, kind of bespoke bone armour, which was quite cool. All coming along here. And he's got these dwarf, these flayed dwarf faces on his um, belt. 
and all these other beards around the back here that I just tried to kind of spice up using a few different um, colours. Again, there's just no no rhyme or reason to this. I couldn't tell you how I painted any of it to be honest. I just kept mixing up colours. The um, the flayed skin back here, that's where I used the purple. You can see there's some purple worked into that as well as the skin tones. And um, the the beards are all just a mixture of kind of greys and browns and a kind of orangey one, which was the death claw brown coming in to get that kind of um, slightly more orangey colour. Um, armor was just. Um, some sort of a uh, chainmail or lead belcher or something like that with a brown wash over the top and the skin was basically there's lots of different versions of it but it was basically Rakath flesh and then adding pallid witch flesh to it to um, to work it up it's very very pleased with how that came out and yeah so yeah Yasneg was a completely unexpected joy if I'm honest I didn't want to paint him, I was dreading painting him, and suddenly he's got done. And he was in my 2016 box. I didn't show him on that video, but I did mention him. And that is um, him done as well. So, it's the um, my first models of 2016. Um, we are nearly three weeks in, and I've painted two models, and they're heroes. And seeing as I paint, I should be painting about a hero a week. I'm quite pleased with that, given that in the first week I did all that other assembly and cleaning up. But yeah, I'm very pleased, and I think they, I think Yasneg looks definitely better than his um, mounted version. Let's see, shall we? And Thimble probably looks better on the mounted version, I reckon. So let's have a look. So here's Yasneg, whose mounted version, as you can see, had much paler um, bone armour. And like that. And here's his foot version. Whereas Fimble, that's my new version. And there he is on the wog. I think they're probably about the same to be honest. But yeah, um, I think my foot Yasneg is definitely better. And um, much as I've got lots of other things to do, has definitely inspired me to get a kind of get start working on a Hunter or Kami, probably at the start of next year perhaps or something. Um, so I do finally have some warriors for him to lead because I think he's an awesome model. And clearly, to tell from the size of him as well how big he is. If you compare him to like um, he's the Gundabad warriors. You know how big they are. He's on a par with those. If anything, he might be slightly taller. It clearly comes from the GW clearly sculpting this guy when he was um, meant to be Azog. Um, so he's a very very cool model, and um, yeah, it'd be good to get him on the table alongside Azog and make ben, make the best use of his rule. So there we go. That was uh, my successful start to the year, pleased with that. If I can keep painting a hero a week then I will hit my goal, um, which is quite exciting. And I did get those finished um, in a bit a bit early, so because I obviously had to have them finished for last weekend. And so I did start, as promised, on my next model which is <gasps> Galadriel. So this is the next um, person I'm painting and I've just started kind of working her up really. I've I've kind of based and shaded the skin and the hair, which is back here, and I've started working up the cloak. And this is a really interesting um, project for me. I've never painted the white Galadriel before. I've got I've got quite good, I think, at painting whites on something like Saruman, but he very much does come up from a cream rather than a grey. Like his robes, the same with Gandalf the White. They're not white, they're a pale cream, whereas Galadriel's are genuinely really white. So um, I've started from grey, a kind of codex grey with a bit of eshin grey in the folds and I'm going to just keep on working this up. You can see it actually, I think here it does look quite nice if she had grey robes. But obviously there's a long way to go to get them up to white. And then it's just that question of how dark do you actually have the creases you know, in there. Is that going to look too dark for a grey model? So it's a constant and balancing act this. I'm going to keep working the um, robes up and every time that I kind of add a new highlight I then kind of add a new shadow and kind of lighten the shadows in a way. Um, but I'm actually really enjoying painting her at the moment. It's a really, really lovely sculpt. Really, particularly for fine guys, if you look at the definition on the face there, um, the sculpt is absolutely lovely. You sometimes lose the noses on these models, but it's absolutely beautiful. And a really, really nice model. And um, she is what I'm now working on. And I'm actually really looking forward to finishing this off. So um, my hope is very strong that I will have her finished by um, my hobby vlog next week and we'll be able to show her off. 
and um, who knows I might have also started on Gandalf the Grey um, the original Fellowship Gandalf who will be my uh, next bottle we'll be painting but yeah so hopefully I'll be back with some good progress for you again next week but um, there we go that's my update on what I've been um, what I've been doing this week and I hope you've enjoyed it um, please keep commenting below um, it's great um, having the interaction on the vo on the hobby vlogs and it really um, does motivate me until next time don't forget to comment like share and subscribe uh, support your hobbit host by clicking on the links below follow us on Twitter and like us on Facebook support your hobbit hobby and happy strategy battle gaming